What's going on, my PT peeps, my walking dead family, and my fighters? I'm one eye bright, also known as PT. Don't know if I'm winking or blinking, but I'm definitely thinking about the Last of Us TV show, the early reviews. Spoiler warning for The Last of Us. So I haven't seen the episode yet, but some reviewers got to see it early and they're talking about it. So I'm excited to share this with you because I'm excited for this show. It's definitely a zombie apocalypse genre show. The video games were great, so hopefully the TV show it also is great. But per games radar, The Last of Us gets called phenomenal and near perfect in glowing first reviews. So this article is from Amy West at Games Radar. Pedro Pascal and Bella Ramsey's beautiful performances as Joel and Ellie seem to have gone down well with viewers. So the Games Radar article says this: The Last of Us reviews are in. And they're calling the eagerly anticipated HBO show heartbreaking, powerful, and the first ever great video game adaptation. From the team behind Chernobyl, the post-apocalyptic drama is set to star Pedro Pascal and Bella Ramsey, while the likes of Merle Danbridge, Elaine Miles, Lamar Johnson, Graham Greene, Anna Tor, Murray Bartlett, Nico Parker, Kayvon Woodard, Storm Reid, Jeffrey Pierce, Gabriel Luna, and Nick Offerman round out the supporting cast. Critics and others who attended the LA premiere on January 9th, which was yesterday, took to social media recently to praise the new series and Pedro Pascal and Bella Ramsey's beautiful performances in particular. But many were quick to point out that the twosome aren't the sole protagonists this time around, thanks to creators Craig Mazin and Neil Druckmann's willingness to develop other characters' narratives within the story. Which is fine. I mean, we figure that we're going to get a lot of Joel and Ellie, but we're going to get the other characters too. I mean, I don't know if it's eight episodes, ten episodes. I don't know the episode count yet, but I believe the first episode is like an hour and 20 minutes. The second episode is supposed to be like 55 minutes, and the next one is close to an hour and 20 minutes again is what the current run times are saying to be. Now let's get into some reviews. I wanted The Last of Us to be good, yet never dreamed it could be this good. Digital Spies Ian Sanwell wrote on Twitter, It's faithful, but not wedded to the games, expanding the world in impactful ways so it's not just about Joel and Ellie. There's still the main focus though, and Pedro Pascal and Bella Ramsey are perfect. So I'm like this person. I want this show to be great. A couple more reviews. I've been lucky enough to get previews of The Last of Us in all my life. It is phenomenal. Sky News Chris Lockyer tweeted, I'm such a huge lover of the games, so I was nervous to see, but the show is beautiful and tense while staying true to the source. Plus, Pedro Pascal is an incredible force. Craig Mazin has done it again. His adaptation with game creator Neil Druckmann's of The Last of Us is phenomenal. So pop culture is confidential as Chris Driller Biro. Frightening, so moving, stunning acting by Pedro Pascal and Bella Ramsey. A special shout out to Murray Bartlett and Nick Offerman for the best hour of TV in a long time. Well, the best hour of TV in a long time. So again, I've been like these people. Play the video games, excited to see this. When I found out about this adaptation coming to HBO, and HBO is probably the right channel and people to make this show i think it's going to be great and i hope so and it sounds like it is already and that's just twitter too at the point of writing this the last of us currently has a hundred percent fresh rating on rotten tomatoes from 24 admittedly slightly less rave reviews from the performances to the storytelling to aesthetic elements it's an exquisitely made adaptation but it also asks viewers to absorb a whole lot of human misery without saying much that we haven't already heard in similar shows, Penn Time Magazine's Judy Berman. The Last of Us series does not feel like a revolution of any kind. It is simply well-made television that elevates itself slightly above some of its genre peers, said Vanity Fair's Richard Lawson. Craig Mazin and Neil Druckmann's The Last of Us TV series is a faithful adaptation of the beloved video game, but it doesn't feel especially distinct as a zombie-filled apocalyptic survival series, agrees. The Verge's Charles Pullman Moore. The Last of Us is set to premiere on HBO and HBO Max in the US on January 15th, that's a Sunday, and Sky and now in the UK the following day. While we wait, check out our guide to the most exciting new TV shows, blah, blah, blah. So it just sounds like it's a good show. Now, I don't know what they're talking about if it's elevated itself above some of its genre peers. Who are they talking about? The Walking Dead, other shows like that. But The Last of Us is coming to HBO and HBO Max on January 15th, which is this Sunday. And I'm excited because it's going to fill the zombie apocalypse void that The Walking Dead has left for so much of us. And they do say to keep your expectations low and you won't be disappointed. But it's hard when you play the video games and you like them so much. And this is an adaptation of the video games. 
It's not like based on a video game. I think it's gonna be the video game live action adaptation of this first game at least, and then we'll see how long it goes. But I'm glad the reviews are good and positive. You know, some of them could be like, it sucked, it's this, it's terrible. But I have faith in HBO and the people there too. But we're gonna be talking about The Last of Us, Mayor of Kingstown, all the Walking Dead shows, obviously. So make sure you're a subscriber and you don't miss out on our videos. Make sure the bell is rung so you're getting notified when we post our videos. But either way, guys, let me know your thoughts. Post your comments below. Stay safe. And as always, tell them, Daryl. Yeah, we love